lose. Here at Outback Stab House, we are committed to giving you the best meal of your life. With ingredients supplied by your local farmers, and our beloved beef oru, we promise that you will enjoy every bite of your order. Well, this is going down the toilet. Damn it, there's no way out of this. Uh, meal? Well, you know what they say. Pick a god and spray! <laughs> Are you sad? Bored? Want to go on an adventure? Well, did you know that the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV has a free trial? <laughs> how you play Kana Man. What is this misinformation? What is this misinformation? What? That is not a cockatoo. There is no cockatoo that looks like that. There is no cockatoo that looks like this. Excuse me. It includes the entirety of A Realm Reborn and the award-winning Heavensward expansion. That's my jam. How are we doing, everybody? Welcome to the show. Thank you. All right, round three. Are you guys ready? Woo! Play the song. You're watching the DRG. Yeah. We bring in the family. Let's go. We carving a brand new niche for direct relief on a Twitch TV. One of us is going to have the change. Dude, I'm not doing it. I was here first. Thank God I didn't pack anything else. All right, everybody, it's time for another What's Inside the Box? Today's Box. What's inside the box? What's inside the box?
People seem to like it when I'm bad at things. There was Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> Calibrary Cuff, Paula Dean, hula hooping, and cooking. Hi. Yeah. What else am I bad at? Singing. <sighs> Follow me, set me free, trust me and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through, prove it to you. Follow me. Oh yeah. Trust me and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through, prove it to you. Follow me. Oh God, that sounds awful. I can't post this. Hey guys, the new TRG4 shirt just came in. I think we're gonna sell a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna sell that many. Really? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure about that. I don't know, man. There's like a lot of content creators here to raise money for direct relief and charity. I don't know. We can sell like a hundred shirts. We can sell like one shirt. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Holy crap. Frazier, how many shirts is this? Uh, like a thousand? <sighs> let's get to work. Yeah, yeah, let's get to work. Yo guys, the new shirt is in, and it is looking the bomb.com. Okay, I know, mistakes were made last year. We got a plan this year though. We're gonna do this. Are we? Yep, we're gonna do this. We got a plan. Are you sure? I got a plan. You got a plan. You ready to work? I got a plan. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. We got yeah. a plan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, Frazier, this is like 2,000 t-shirts, man. What was your big plan to prepare for all this? Well, I, I got bigger bags. Bigger bags. Yeah, I thought that would work. You thought your big plan was to get bigger bags? Yeah. 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 Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Hey guys, guys, guys! What? Fire! Where'd they go? Gerard, where are you? Where are you, Gerard? Gerard. Frazier, what's going on? I don't, I don't know, I lost Gerard. I lost Gerard. Lost? We have, we, have, we ordered too many shirts. We, we pre-ordered all the shirts and, and they're all here. And Gerard went in one of the boxes, and, and I can't find Gerard. He doesn't know. He doesn't know you can't go in the boxes. You never go in the boxes. I don't know where he's at. Wait, he's... Gerard? Gerard! Gerard! Gerard!
no, 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 no. Hey, what's up, TRG friends? Um, so we're out here in the recording studio, and uh, as you know, we're working on a brand new album. Uh, there's a lot of things we're super excited about with this album, but as you guys know, the major thing is we are working with Peaches, the legendary record producer. Working with Peaches has been amazing. I mean, she just knows all of the, the guitar tones, all of the perfect settings. Like watching her dial in my guitar sound has just been, it honestly kind of blows my mind. Yeah, she's just truly like a master of her craft. You know, it's like she knows all the plugins, all the EQ settings, all the knobs, the compressors. Like she just knows, she knows what to do. She knows the sound and we're just getting the job done, you know? And what's crazy is that she's even coming up with her own original parts to add to the songs. Like she's been writing out these crazy MIDI parts and they sound honestly amazing. Oh no! Coliseum's in three hours and I haven't gotten a bumper done. Ooh, Manatee, do you have any ideas? <laughs> you know we can't do that anymore. We're banned from the Capitol, remember? Okay, okay. Um, what I need is something nostalgic. Something that I haven't done in a while. Let's see. I got it! A source filmmaker animation. I haven't done one of those in forever. That'll be easy, right? Oh, what do you know? It'll be a snap. All right, it took a little bit longer than I intended it to, but here it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, so, what do you think? I guess I'll just make another one with Amiibo? Okay. <laughs> 
Welcome back to What's Inside the Box, today's box. What's inside the box? What's inside the box? Hey guys, hope you're enjoying the marathon. We got American John here, Cardboard John, seven solid feet of cardboard here. And guess what? Good news, we were able to get more. The only problem is we were only allotted seven total feet. It's fine. All right, Josh, I got a normal pack of cards here. You see it? You see it? I see it. Yeah, you wanna you wanna verify? You wanna verify no. that it's cards? It's cards. Look yeah. at that. Okay, cool, cool. All right, as you can see, nothing, oh, nothing, God. no wires, nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> so we're gonna just shuffle it up here so you can see it. That okay. I'm not it's not predetermined. You can see, 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 see. Whoa, how, okay. See how I see I, yeah, I see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so we're just gonna shuffle it up here, and uh, we're gonna have you pick, uh, pick, uh, pick, pick, pick a card. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna shuffle this up even more for some reason, even though I should probably do, do I look it. at the card. Uh, Too late. Well, I already looked at it. Oh, uh, you shouldn't have looked at it. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just gonna. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, yep. Just gonna shuffle it up real smooth, like. <laughs> um. It. Uh, is this your card? <laughs> No. <laughs> Man, TRG Coliseum is coming up really fast this year. That means I gotta think of a bumper to do before I go. And I don't really 
exactly have any ideas of what I can teach this year. There's gotta be something I can do. I got it! And done. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh. Hey guys, Dan here, uh, in front of a uh, Taco Bell here, to give you a few facts. Uh, did you know that it was uh, started in 1962 by Glenn Bell? And uh, this is actually the one where I met my wife, Linda. You know, and they have tons of different items. You know, they have burritos, nachos, tacos. Uh, the Gordita Crunch uh, is my wife's favorite. Well, was. Anyway, Taco Bell has a ton of uh, healthy and vegetarian options, like the bean burrito, which is what my wife Linda had right before she... Yeah, we were just uh, sitting there and she was on her third bean burrito and uh, I told her, you know, with her condition of not being able to expel gas, maybe she should slow down and she just exploded and... Uh, they had to uh, remodel the, the whole uh, Taco Bell. Uh, it actually doesn't. It actually doesn't look like that anymore. Um, but anyway, try the new crispy uh, chicken melt taco uh, here only at Taco Bell. It's that special time of day. What's inside the box? Today's box. What's inside the box? What's inside the box? Well, who partner then it's Kiefer King and I must say you're looking mighty handsome today I bet you got yourself a nice big dick what's that one your dick looking a bit shabby your dick got a funny smell god damn boy I never seen a dry dick in all my life that's right my name's Kiefer King and if you need a man who knows his way around a dick just keep king on this dick you tired of your dick on impressing just keep king on this dick. Are the guys and gals running screaming at the mere sight of your dick? Just keep king on this dick. We've seen more dick than a dick doctor. More dick than an old folks home. Even more dick than my ex-wife. <laughs> Just keep a king on this dick. We'll come on down to that dick. We'll sand down that dick. We'll get the bugs out of that dick. And then we're gonna get that dick nice and wet and then we're gonna go to town on that dick. Keep a king on this dick. You'll wonder why all the girls and even some of the guys can't keep off that dick. Keep a king on this dick. Call now and get the two for one deal. I'll get my brother Jack out here. He's gonna come out. He's never seen a dick that he can't handle. He is wild. He won't be able to keep his hands off your dick. Jacking off this dick. Put down a deposit today. I'll get my Uncle Topher out here. Uncle Topher's gonna take his shoes off. Before you know it, you're gonna have a mouth-watering dick. Dolph King on this dick. Drop that $19.99 deposit at Coliseum Live and we'll be out there before you know it. We'll be inspecting that dick. Come on, is liven up this dick. Call us today and we'll be out on that dick fest and that jackrabbit on a cold winter night for my name and Kiefer King. Kiefer King on this dick. Come on down. Kiefer King on this deck, only $19.99. Make a deposit today to Coliseum.live. Get your deposit in soon for the two for one deal. Restrictions apply. See website for details. Kiefer King on this deck is not associated with Gentle King on this deck. So you know that Jules and Massey, they really like Super Mario 64 speedrunning, and it's and it's nice, you know, like they they have their little competition. It's it's friendly, it's jovial, but the speedrunning has kind of started bleeding into real life and growing significantly less friendly, like hostile even. I'm I'm a little worried, honestly.
Yeah, things are really getting out of hand with both Jules and Massey. I don't even know what to say anymore. Yesterday I ended up going to the elevator and for some reason they were trying to speedrun that. How do you even do that? The stairs were right next to it. It's way faster. If they keep this up, it's just gonna cause a giant divide in the Coliseum. Oh yeah, they uh, definitely won't be invited back next year. for the Mario Party segment. Pass to Muji. Welcome back to... What's inside the box? Let's check out a box. What's inside the box? What's inside the box? Here at Outback Stab House, we cook the foods you love just the way you like it. And our deals are so good, it's painful. Try our special chicken fingers deal. Ten chickens for one finger. Put it L for P. John and Tim and the Runaway Guys, the Curse of the Lamp, only for the Vectrix. And, you know, everything they need and supplies, you know, how... Uh... Tom! Infinity Money! Our tiny Eddie are working hard in order to satisfy you and for a whole period. Holy Jesus, Grandma. Anyway, do you want to watch me do a trick on that railing? Yeah, hell yeah, dude, but don't break your leg. I'll be fine. Uh, okay, if you say so. Whoa, hell yeah, dude. Up to level 60 with no restrictions on playtime. So, what are you waiting for? Sign up and join us on Eorzea today. I just want to fix the transition right here. There's a very harsh divide between everything that's yellow and orange and everything that's orange and red. I need to make this a bit softer, but everything else is mostly done. Once again, the hope will be gone. Forever. Well, here goes nothing. Inexcusable, says I. Inexcusable. Thank <laughs> you.
Josh's light strip? So, um, living with Josh has been great. It's, uh, been a real treat. Um, whose horse is that? Welcome back to everyone's favorite show, What's Inside the Box? Today's Box. What's inside the box? What's inside the box? Hi, everybody. How's it going? You remember how last year everybody got to show off their cooking recipes and I didn't show off mine? And I have 15 years in the cooking industry, so I should know. My recipe is the best and it's very simple and it's very easy and we're going to get started on it right now. Step one. Napkin. Step two. Cookies. Step three. Open. Four. You're done. You're done! Hi, everybody. You know how last year everyone got to show off their cookie co Hi, everybody. 
You know how last year everybody got to show off their cookie recipes, but I didn't show off mine? Well, I have 15 years in the cookie making, in the uh, food. Hi, everybody. I'm Nintendo Capri Sun. And, uh, what? Welcome, TRG, to the mysteries of the universe, which is probably already a show, but that's also this one right here. So as you can see, this is the universe right here. Not, not that one. This is the universe right here. And we are exactly down here. We're actually not allowed here yet. We haven't earned that. But we're going, we're here right now. We're moving up slowly. It's gonna take about 17,000 million seconds to get here, but uh, we're, we should be there pretty soon. So why are we here today? Well, you guys need to know there's a whole new type of planet and it's called a quasonic uh, crunch planet. And what actually happens is this planet is composed of nothing but uh, Super Nintendo plastic, like specifically the Super Nintendos, like how they're, you know how what I'm talking about, that one? It's made of that. And honestly, it's coming right for us. So phew, we gotta like get ready for that. Um, but that's, we're gonna talk about that tomorrow. Today is mainly just the general knowledge about like how stars are formed. So uh, as you can see, this is not a star and this is one. And this one turns into a star here. And um, so that's the mysteries of the universe, guys. Thank you for watching. And make sure to donate to Direct Relief before the Super Nintendo Crunchy Planet uh, crashes and have a good day. All right, bye. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't okay. need to be that All meta. Right. It Jiggy, be that it's meta. not meta, we're, 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 doing, make, we're making we're... one intro clip, Jiggy. I know, Jiggy, I know, this I know. is the clip, but... please. Get to the camera. I gotta turn on the lights. Okay. All right. All right. Oh my god. All right. We're gonna go like that. That's too bright. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. We're gonna be blown out, Jay. I'm not sleep yet. You know, you can lower the ISO. It's not. You can lower. Please close your eyes. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. I used to send it out everyone. Okay. I gotta fix this. Everyone's here. Jiggy, please. I gotta fix this. If I don't Set. click it, Wait, everyone's not gonna know who their schedule is. Can't be. I'll, I'll, I'll be the right. schedule begins tomorrow. We Wait. have to put that in. We need I the bumper. Uh, yeah. Do you know how crowd control works? I don't. I do. I ran on Old Faithful multiple times. Old Faithful's, old Faithful's, old Faithful's not here today. Do we need a gimbal for we this bumper? We don't need a gimbal. Michael, Michael. come on. Oh no. Click it. You're not a cat. <laughs> what, what do you want me to do? It's, it's breaking. Pursuify, please help me. I don't you know. know. Oh my god. The council really is going to be playing at us right now. It's kind of funny. Like, yeah, we put up? it in the corner, but did you know it kind of torn acted like more like a parabolic sound collection oh. dish? Does that matter it, right now? Yeah, here's the fun thing though. Okay, like, so the sound comes in, but it's coming into the capsule, right? And that's the original sound, but the filtered sound is part of the original sound because it's part. I mean, I don't even understand why we're using shotgun mics inside, but I can't get anything else to work. Okay. Dude, I can't. Can Wait. we just get the shot? Can I just get behind you for a second? I just need to. Just All right, guys, to... I'll be back. I just have to oh, sign. So I have to Wait, go get so Tom real quick. You need this. Dude, tape, right? I'm always doing that. Okay. No, I don't. That. Wait, not this. That's tape. orange. Okay. All right. Hey, can you I just want to get the. the yeah, no, I'll check. I'll check. I'm sorry. Jiggy, I'm sorry. Bumper for Jiggy, Steven. How much? How much? Oh, I can go get it. I can go get the fog machine. Okay, I'll go get the fog machine. Hey, Jiggy, is the boom in the shot yet? I have to get the fog machine. No, no, no. Okay, it's okay. Fog machine. Is Jiggy getting the fog? I we told him no fog machine. Watch the mic. Watch the mic. Hey, 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 hey. No fog machine. My ambiance. <laughs>
Let me tell you about a man that I know. He's got a YouTube channel with a lot of flow. His name is Steven George, and he's the king of the vlog scene, making content that makes us sing. Steven George, he's the one and only making videos that are never phony. From vlogs to gaming, he's got it all. Steven George never lets you fall. He's got a wife named Mal, and she's a muse. Together they travel and explore and never lose. Steven's got a way of making us smile, even if we've been down for a while. Steven George, he's the one and only, making videos that are never phony. From vlogs to gaming, he's got it all. Steven George will never let you fall. Got a community of fans that are strong, supporting him no matter what, never wrong. Steven's the kind of guy that we admire. Always pushing the envelope and never to tire. Steven George, he's the one and only. Making videos that are never phony. From vlogs to gaming, he's got it all. Steven George will never let you fall. So that's the rap about Steven George. A man we all love, never to ignore. Keep doing what you do. Steven will be here to support you until the end. <laughs> Okay, why was that so wholesome? <laughs> As an AI language model, my purpose is to assist you in the best possible way that I can. I am programmed to be neutral and unbiased while providing the most relevant and helpful response to your requests. I'm glad that you found the rap song wholesome, and I hope it met your expectations. It was great. Now can you write a diss rap about Stephen George? I'm sorry, but as an AI language model, I cannot generate a diss rap about Stephen George or anyone else. My programming is designed to promote positivity, respect, and kindness towards others, and generating negative content goes against these principles. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Yeah, the song's about to be a memorable moment. Kick it. Let me tell you about a man that I know He got a YouTube channel with a whole lot of flow His name is Stephen George And he's the king of the vlog scene Making content that makes us sing Stephen George, he's the one and only Making videos that are never phony From vlogs to gaming, he got it all Stephen will never let you fall He got a wife named Mal, she's his muse Together travel and explore, never lose Stephen got a way of making a smile even if we have been down for a while And Stephen George, he's the one and only Making videos that are never phony From vlogs to gaming, he got it all Stephen will never let you fall Community of fans that are strong, ay, ay. Supporting him no matter, never wrong, ay, ay. He's the kind of guy that we admire, ay, ay. Push the envelope, never to tire Oh, piss! Stephen George, he's the one and only Making videos that are never phony From vlogs to gaming, he got it all Stephen will never let you fall Whoa, 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 whoa Everybody eats pears True, 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 true Oh, 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 oh Everybody eats pork Don't touch the f***ing blender Pairs. Everybody, 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 everybody. Oh, 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 oh. Everybody is pork. All hail the lamp. Chased by a lamp, chased by a lamp. Eh. Chased by a lamp, chased by a lamp. Whoa. Chased by a lamp, chased by a lamp. Eh. Always getting chased, chased, chased by a lamp. True. Stephen George, he's the one and only. Making videos that are never phony. From vlogs to gaming, he got it all. Stephen will never let you fall. This song is just an ad. Hi, I'm MC, and welcome back to TRG Coliseum. Behind the Coliseum Campy, we're going to workshop that title later. First off, and the most important thing I think we gotta mention is one of our newest additions. Uh, this is called The Rack. This baby could stream so many charity marathons. Uh, 
In here we have our X32 rack, which is an audio mixer. This is how all the audio sources eventually end up here uh, and properly mixed and sent out to you. We have the recording machine. This, uh, or I'm sorry, this one is the, the web presenter. This takes in the video feed, the final feed with the audio, everything, sends it out to our restream service, which goes to Twitch. And then it also sends the feed over here to our recorder, so that way uh, uh, Chugga Conroy can upload those nice high quality VODs for you all. This is just a computer, a very powerful computer. And down there is a UPS, a, 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 a uninterrupted power supply, something like that. It's a battery. It's a big battery that can run a computer. Uh, and that just makes it so if my entire computer crashes or the, the power in the house, or if the power in the hotel goes out, we have like five minutes to basically be like, all right, guys, we'll be back. <laughs> OK. So that's the, the, the front of the rack. We'll get to the back in a second. But first, we're going to cover a couple other things. This is our main machine, like, like screens. We have three of them. We have one that's basically for OBS, which is our stream software where we assemble everything, like the bar and all the video sources and all the audio sources into one central machine. Over here is where we keep our web browser, audio player, uh, and other stuff. It's just a computer. There's nothing too exciting about that. I'll show you this computer here as we head over, though. Uh, this computer's actually running Zoom pretty much the entire time, so if we have any remote guests, they can zoom in and we can send it um, into this OBS, which actually sends its feed all the way over to the set to the CRT using a $60 downscaler, this downscale HDMI to, to composite, to uh, old format. Can you believe it costs $60? It's, cheap, it's cheaper to upscale. <laughs> yeah, nothing. It's made, up, made out of a, a soda bottle, basically. Uh, so come on over here to the back. Obviously, we just finished with doing Werewolf, so the set is in complete disarray. But first, let me, let me give you all a quick chance to look at the set. We have all of the posters. We have the, the, the CRT. We have the, all the, the different 80s props. And this was all put together by Clinkit. Uh, a little bit of post help from Jiggy, but uh, for the most part, this entire design. Oh, whoa, we're adding stars? Yeah. I, I'm awesome. <laughs> um, this couch is recognizable from other charity marathons, such as GDQ. Um, I'm lying. Uh, Zelda All right, so here's Basunify. Without this guy, the, the audio would be even worse than ever possible. I've made some bad audio mixes in the past, and it would have been worse this time if it wasn't for Basunify, who made it way better than ever before. So thank you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> That's so awkward. A pleasure to be here. Take a step back so I can introduce the back of the rack. So this is a mess. Um, it, but it makes sense if you don't think about it. Um, we have our internet up here. I'm sorry. Nope. This is like just a patch panel. This is Ethernet. Down here is the computer. Down here is the back of the computer where you, we take in all the video sources. We have eight SDI inputs, four HDMI inputs, and another HDMI input. If that makes sense to you, congratulations. You are as nerdy as us. We are now seeking cable management assistant. Uh, yeah, this is, this is, this is uh, Rack's first time around. Maybe next time I'll, I'll know a little bit more. Uh, but one thing that's really cool about Rack, that you're going to love this, plugged into this is a huge, thick cable that runs up to 25 feet away, and it's down here. This baby is the MC original creation. This is Couch Box Mark II. Mark I was a plastic box that me and Klinka assembled in my house butt. using Basunify's butt to break the, the plastic and resin that broke, uh, but it led, <laughs> it led to this. Uh, if it looks like a mess, that's because it is. It basically stuffs in two upscalers, uh, two 3DS capture units, uh, five black magic converters, and all makes into an easy patch panel. So basically, the idea of this will be uh, very nice. So if you have a game console for a segment, you bring it here, and you plug it into the front panel, and then you do nothing because it works, and it appears on TV, and you never have to set up this mess again because it's all in one box that's built into a drawer that just slides into the rack. 
It's nutty. It may, may bore you, but it's probably the most exciting part of my dang life right now. Uh, that's the lamp. It is our favorite. Cinematic. And Cinema. I, I think it's more fun to look at what Jiggy is doing to get this pose than what he's actually capturing, in my opinion. <laughs> We have other things to show off. Come on, let's get, let's come on, go, 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 get up, get up, yeah, fool. All right. I'm on the ground. Um, here are the cameras. They are cameras. Um, we have audio monitors for the people in the room to hear stuff. We have giant lights that blind the participants if they're on there for too long. Amazing microphones that are, when are their setup are outstanding. Uh, right now, uh, you'd be capturing an excellent feed of a single cable that's lying on the floor, uh, which may not be that, that useful, but maybe one day. Let's quickly peek at this. This is the donation lounge. This is where we have people uh, between our different segments come over and read out donations to keep you entertained. It's kind of a mess right now. Uh, you, you, yeah, it's a little bit of a mess, but it's nice. We have the prizes in the back. Uh, it's just a camera. We do have a chat display, so that way whoever is here can read the chat real quick, which is super nice. Uh, let's quickly peek in here, because this is already too long. Uh, this is the music room. In music room, this is where we put the musicians. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a really cool set. Uh, this set was built for Zeldathon, and we basically just repurposed it because we had it in storage. Uh, but all the musicians will come here, and they will do their thing. Ma Majin DeVito is here at the moment, which is nice to see. Uh, we bought that drum kit just for this event, which is nice. Maybe you'll see it more in the future. Um, in this room, we have another chat monitor. We have two cameras, some lights. Everybody's audio is hooked up and runs back to another mixer that Basunify has expertly configured. Uh, to not only take in all the audio, but send it back to the musicians at whatever levels and mixes they want, uh, so that way they, they don't complain, because musicians, one of their favorite things to do is, can I get a little bit more of Carlos in my, in my wedge? And, and that's when he says, Hey, there's a phone app. Just do it yourself. That's right. Or I'll do it for you. It's OK. Yeah. And that's. Did I think, did we cover a lot? I think we covered a lot. Um, in the bathroom, you know, uh, that's about it. I wish Tim was here, I miss him. And Emil and Adri, but you know, T Tim holds a special place in my heart. He was my first TRG member when I was like 12. And I'm almost 30, and I'm running this event. <coughs> no, you're supposed to cut it when I walk off camera, Jiggy. <laughs> Recently I was told that the bumpers are great, but they don't raise any money for charity. So I am aiming to fix that. Welcome to trivia. Do you like the GameCube? Because we're going to be doing some GameCube trivia today. Here's how it's gonna work. I'm going to ask you 10 different questions, all related to the Nintendo GameCube. For each one that you get wrong, you donate $1 to the event. If you wanna do easy mode, you could do 50 cents per question you get wrong. Or if you wanna do hard mode, up to two bucks. Oh, and if you're easily influenced, you may want to hide your chat for the next few minutes. Question number one. How much did a GameCube cost when it launched in the US on November 18, 2001? Was it $149, $199, $249, or $299? The answer is $199. Question number two. Which of these was not a GameCube launch title in the US? Was it SSX Tricky? Crazy Taxi? Dave Mira's Freestyle BMX2? Or Batman Vengeance? The answer is SSX Tricky. Question number three. Later models of the GameCube used purple for the press start text in the system menu. 
What color did the original models use? Was it white, orange, pink, or teal? The answer is pink. Question number four. The GameCube featured a custom CPU created by IBM. What was the code name for this processor? Was it Gecko, Broadway, Dolphin, or Espresso? The answer is Gecko. Question number five. Which of these games supporting the Nintendo GameCube microphone included a clip to attach it to the controller? Was it Mario Party 6, Mario Party 7, Karaoke Revolution Party, or Odama? The answer is Odama. Question number six. What is the maximum capacity of a Nintendo GameCube optical disc? Is it 1.46 gigs, 2.46 gigs, 3.46 gigs, or 4.46 gigs? The answer is 1.46 gigabytes. Question number seven. Which of these Nintendo GameCube games do not support LAN play? Is it 1080 Avalanche, Wave Race Blue Storm, Kirby Air Ride, or Mario Kart Double Dash? The answer is Wave Race Blue Storm. Question number eight. On September 24th, 2003, roughly two years after the initial launch of the GameCube, the GameCube received a price drop. What was the new MSRP of the GameCube? Was it $99, $119, or $179? The answer is $99. Question number nine. Which of these games do not feature Nintendo GameCube to Nintendo Game Boy Advance connectivity? Is it FIFA Football 2004, Metroid Prime, Medal of Honor Rising Sun, or Super Monkey Ball? The answer is Super Monkey Ball. For our 10th and final question today, what was the last GameCube game to be produced and released in North America? Was it Madden NFL 08, Ratatouille, Surf's Up, or Meet the Robinsons? The answer is Madden NFL 08. So how'd you do? Did you get a few? Did you get all of them? Be sure to make your donations over at Coliseum.live for all of the ones you missed, and I'm hoping to see a lot of money raised for a bumper this year, which will be really exciting. Also be sure to post on social media about the event and how many you got right. Thanks for watching Coliseum. Stay tuned. Welcome back. It's time for What's Inside the Box. Today's box. What's inside the box? What's inside the box? Consequences of it, and then to see 
thousands or millions of people who want to engage with you. They'd never find us. I mean, I'm boring, I work in a warehouse, you know? And so it's, it's really, I, I can't really convey how much it, it means, truly. But like, no matter what, like you're, even though we're just the mouthpiece in a way, you guys are all doing all the work. Like, have you been with the, with Direct Relief the entire time? Like, when did you join the company originally? Well, it started in 1948 and I'm not so, quite okay. that old. Right. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's, so, it's the organization. Sorry. They didn't give me the numbers, my mistake. 75th anniversary, I'm not quite that old yet, but no, I've been here 22 years. Okay. Um, uh, how far would you say like someone's donation goes? Like say someone donates 10, 25 dollars, like how, how well does that get stretched out along the company? Well, I think we've always been really lean, trying to figure out, <clears throat> you know, the function of money is to con to take, you can't eat it, right? You trade money for goods and services. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's unhealthy. Do you not eat <laughs> money? It's no, money is it. filthy. Exactly. Like <laughs> but a lot of what we do is try to say, well, what is it we're trying to get done and what's needed to get it done? Um, so we've always looked for if there's a, someone who's manufacturing a product, you can raise money and buy the product, or you can go to the person who's manufacturing and say, look, we're not in a position to, to buy that, like that specialized medication, but you could do a, a wonderful thing if you could find it a way to manufacture some for people who are never going to show up on your sales forecast because they're poor. And so, um, and they've responded. And even for things that we would otherwise have to raise money and purchase services like transportation, like a big company like FedEx, you know, um, we said, look, money's great, but we want what made you your money. We're not, we want to be as good at logistics and transportation to help people as you are. So if you could help us do that, um, actually your service is more important than the money. So we always look for how we can, um, avert spending money and, and but the money goes really far as a result so when we have money um, and we have to buy sometimes we do have to purchase transportation or charter a plane um, or something like that it that the money that we receive is goes really far because it's carrying tens of millions of dollars of things that we did not have to pay for so the people who are contributing the material or the services they love it because someone else is participating and the people who, who contribute financially, their money is like heavily leveraged because it's allowing something worth a thousand times more to get delivered to somebody and free of charge to the end user. So uh, we're always looking how we can maximize the money and um, make sure that we only get it for one reason, that's to help people. And we get that. And so we're trying to make sure that it's, it's used in a way that would make you proud. Because we, I mean, it's, it's a heavy obligation. Someone entrusts money that they don't have to give you. And so you receive and you say, thank, thank you. And then, God, this deserves our best efforts. That's a wonderful gesture. And you want to honor that. And we do. We do. So I think our financial stuff is, is, is really good. Um, our leverage of what we do with a little bit of money goes a long way. So we punch way above our weight class, I think in the old boxing term. <laughs> the, the thing that impressed me the most during the tour, um, similar to what you said about people waking up one day and their lives are different, was uh, you asked about the turnaround time yeah. on how fast supplies get. And they said that to a lot of foreign countries, it's overnighted because it can only be delivered by air yeah. um, because you know things have to be refrigerated. They can only survive so long in shipping. Um, and just the fact that the turnaround time could be one day from yeah. here to a foreign country just thinking about that, that you know, this has happened one day. People wake up the next day, and aid is there already. Yeah. It is, it is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, prescription medicines are extremely heavily regulated. You know, and properly so, for safety and health reasons. And so we have all the same accreditations that a commercial pharmacy distributor would have. We just do it free of charge for people who can't pay. So the speed is one thing, but it has to, you can't sacrifice the integrity of um, the product because this is going to, someone's going to take this and they need it to maintain their health or get better. Um, and it goes from the most basic vitamins um, or supplies to advanced biologic therapy. You know that, I don't know if you saw in the big cold rooms, you know, some of the yeah. material, it's like these, um, the science advancement in health. So people who for, from 
from the beginning of time till now have died from a condition because there's a, a, um, a genetic a problem in the genetic code of a person. The science has advanced so fast that it can get inside there and um, fix and re replace something that's missing in your RNA. And But the dilemma is that it's so expensive that a lot of people who can benefit from these advances will never receive the benefit because they live in a poor country. And so the, the inventors of this stuff, there's no business, you know, it's a poor country, so they're not even going to try to sell the drug because they know it's too expensive and it's complicated to register it. So um, we get to do that um, free of charge. So we can get permissions from the, the foreign governments um, to help often it's children with these uh, genetic conditions and it's it's really kind of this amazing um, privilege to be able to help folks out you know we didn't invent the drug we didn't you know manufacture it we do people trust us to do the right thing with it though and that's that's a pretty high degree of trust and as do you with the money that is generated from this stuff and we take that extremely seriously you know because it's a, a wonderful gesture of people to give of themselves and it's also like on this side it's like it's a heavy obligation it's like don't screw that up that's such a <laughs> precious thing in life you don't want to burn someone's trust i was told no good will come from you ever playing video games oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, don't yeah. worry. Uh, gosh. <laughs> we could not do it without the collective of everybody exactly the, like not just donating them but viewing and spreading the word yeah yeah all all this is a group effort from everybody not, not just us like we, we might be like the catalyst you might be the the recipient but like it's because of everyone at home that we get to do this No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the one time I resisted doing the bit. <laughs> I'm here to cover for you, buddy. Thanks, thanks, appreciate it. Yes. Yes, we did. Can you say <laughs> yes. yes, please? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. 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 we did. I'm sorry. Honestly, getting to see the warehouse and just see where everything was kind of stored and just how organized and how massive it all is was just really cool to see. It's nice to actually see everything in perspective and in scope. Mm -hmm. Seeing how everything is shipped out, how organized it is, how things can manage to get to their destination within a day, how they even have everything organized by expiration date so they know how much time there is to find a home for something that they've secured. I was impressed by that. And then also just the freezers that are negative 70 degrees Celsius and there's exactly. like an alarm on them. I'm just like, geez, like, I guess some things just need conditions that extreme. So, now for me it was like the pictures that they showed us at the very beginning of the founders and they talked about how far back this started. I had no idea it's been around for that long, that's crazy. Probably just how long Direct Relief has been around in general and how it didn't even really kind of focus on America until like Hurricane Katrina. Yeah, 2003. Yeah. Uh, that surprised me too, the fact that you need a separate permit to distribute medical supplies and aid in all 50 states and they all have different regulations that have to be worked out. I, and also that it's somebody's job to like specifically keep on top of all that and making sure everything is up to code. It's, it's a lot and <laughs> I don't know man, would it really be that hard for the US to just take the strictest regulation and go, there, everybody use that one. <laughs> Yeah, he pretty much stole my answer to the 50 Saints thing. That's my father, I think. Because you get to pie me in the face if you do it. Okay. No, it's really you get your <laughs> something like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, honestly, since we were here seeing kind of how all the work we've done over the years and how much you guys have helped us raise, like it's seeing it all in person really made me realize like, this is honestly a really good thing to do with keep doing. So honestly, it, keep donating just because it helps the world. There's the fact that 100% of your donation goes to Direct Relief. We don't keep any of it. You know, we're partnered with you. There's the fact that you can be sure that your donation is going to help people 100% of it. No overhead or anything like that. Yeah. Um, wow. Oh, I can put it into words, you know? <laughs> I mean, you only live once, and I know that people say that and everything, but like, you know, if you're going to choose to do anything with your life, like, why not 
try to bring to the lives of others, you know. That's pretty much it. <laughs> thanks, Jacqueline, for having us, and thanks for letting us uh, just be idiots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Let Proton John know how much you enjoy his content and how excited you are to see him finish the Let's Play. Positive feedback and encouragement can be a great motivator. Two, share your favorite moments. Share your favorite moments from the Let's Play with Proton John. This can remind him of the fun he had while playing the game and encourage him to finish it. Three, set a challenge. Challenge Proton John to finish the Let's Play by a certain date or milestone. This can provide a specific goal and deadline to work towards. Four, offer suggestions. If Proton John is stuck or struggling with a particular part of the game, offer suggestions or tips to help him progress. This can make him or the game more enjoyable and less frustrating to play. Five, remind him of the importance of finishing. Finishing the Let's Play can provide closure and a sense of accomplishment. It can also be satisfying for the fans who have been following the series. Overall, encouraging Proton John to finish his Let's Play of Superman 64 requires positivity, patience, and understanding. Remember that content creators have their own schedules and priorities, so it's important to respect their decisions and support them in their endeavors. No, I cannot beat up Josh Jepson, or anyone else for that matter. As an AI language model, I am designed to assist and provide information, not engage in physical violence. It's important to always treat others with respect, kindness, and violence is never the answer to resolving conflict. Dang it! <clears throat> okay, get out of here. I'm mad at you. Bye. Close. Hmm. That's what I